Hello everybody, as you can see, I am in my lovely bedroom, which pre-stoma surgery used to be the tranquil place where I used to have a lovely, lovely amount of sleep. But since my stoma surgery, unfortunately, like many people I know, is that sleep becomes an issue because we are up having to change or empty our bags once, twice, multiple times in the night. And I've really tried to do some exploring to see if I can actually get a full night's sleep without emptying my bag. And unfortunately, regardless of when I eat, whether that's 5 p.m. or 9 p.m., I still have to get up and empty during the night. And it's become a real challenge in terms of getting, you know, a really good restful night's sleep because it's so disturbed. And I want to introduce you in this video to something that I have recently tried and found to be probably the biggest help to me getting a better quality of sleep. What I mean by that is that when you have to get up and empty, being able to come back to bed and fall asleep as quickly as possible. Because for me, that was the biggest challenge. You know, I'm up two, three times in the night, awake, having to empty, you know, it gets you a little bit, a little bit stressed, a little bit on edge, especially, you know, I don't know if you can relate to this, is you wake up and I immediately look, look down and my bag's full and I have this mini moment of panic where I'm like, oh my God, has it leaked? Where is it? Have I leaked all over my partner? Have I leaked all over myself? You know, majority of the time, touch wood, this never happens, but it's kind of that mini panic, which gives you this surge of a bit of an adrenaline and makes it much harder to get back to sleep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to show you what I mean. And I'll explain a little bit about the mechanism after this. So come with me. We're gonna go on a trip. Round to my bathroom. <laughs> so stay with me, I swear. Okay, so. Gonna go in. And see if we can set this off. So you can see that. This is my new red light. And I've been doing some research into quality of sleep and how to get better sleep. I'm going into the research of neuroscience in particular. And what I've come across is the importance of light, okay? And I'm sure you've heard many, many times around that before you go to sleep, you shouldn't have your phone on you, you shouldn't be watching TV. And this is all because of something called blue light that is found in screens, which is found in TVs. And what this does, this blue light, it actually stops or it actually inhibits our ability to rest and relax. And this is also the case when you get up to go to the toilet to empty, how many of you will go to the bathroom and turn the light on, right? This big glaring white light, which has blue light in it. What this does by exposing your light, well, your eyes in the middle of the night to this type of light, it activates your system and it makes it much more difficult to get back to sleep. So what we wanna be doing, because like I said, you know, for some of us getting up and emptying our bags is just something that we have to do. What we wanna be doing in that case is minimizing our exposure in the middle of the night to these bright lights or to blue light. And what you can do is buy a red light lamp or something like this, which is like a portable light and it's auto. So what it does is it will come on when it senses motion. So this is like a motion activated. And since I've been using this, so since I've been getting up in the night, coming into my bathroom, emptying my bag, with this red light, I've found it much easier to get back to sleep. And I've been tracking this with my Fitbit and looking at my sleep score. And before, the red light when I was exposing myself to this really bright blue light in the middle of the night my sleep score was probably about a 65 but since switching and using this lovely device it's gone up to about 80 and I can feel such a difference so for anybody who else has tried everything else 
like me to try and get better quality of sleep, maybe get your hands on one of these really cool motion activated red lights that are on the internet. I will put the link into where I bought this one, but let me know what you think about this and whether you're actually going to go out and buy it. And if you've actually tried it one yourself, I would love to hear from you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.